Hi guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. As you see, I'm supporting the Camping Crew podcast hoodie today because it's it's winter. It's It might be spring or it might even be close to summer, but it's winter. We're getting ready. Myself and Charlie, he's here beside me in the b-ball. We're heading down to Inch Beach in Dingle. I've got friends who are gone down there for the weekend. They're going to do a bit of surfing and I've never been wild camping on Inch Beach. I was there before with Deirdre about 10 or 12 years ago, but we didn't stay over. So here's what I'm going to do. A bit of road footage. I've got the new dash cam set up. It didn't work the last time. Hopefully it'll work this time. So skip to here if you don't want to see the road footage. We have a three hour drive ahead of us. Of course, you're not going to see three hours of road footage. You're going to see possibly a minute, a minute and a half if it works. If it doesn't work, it'll say here it didn't work. And next time I talk to you, hopefully we'll be on Inch Beach in Dingle in County Kerry. Oh, look, he's up. He's over here and he's ready to go. We'll talk to you soon. So I've made it down to Inch Beach in Inch in Dingle. Um, weather is absolutely brutal. It's worse than brutal. It really, actually, hang on, I have to roll down the window for Charlie. Um, I'll show you how bad it is, actually, if I turn on this camera. That's a crane that's uh, lifting new lifeguard huts into place that you can see there on the camera. There are people out walking. I just can't drive down there yet. Um, I'm hoping to meet Gavin and Elaine, two of our viewers and two of the listeners to the podcast. Um, hoping to meet them here at some stage. I know they went towards Skibbereen and then they were making their way down here. It is now, what, 20 to four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this guy. It's, it's raining, it's horrible, it's miserable, but then you expect that for an Irish summer and it's not summertime yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring Charlie for a walk. I'm gonna throw a coat on, bring him for a walk because we didn't get to pull in anywhere and stop anywhere for a whiz for him. Um, I see Sammy's shop over there, it looks closed, but there is a shop just up the road that was open. It says the cafe is open, but it looks closed. Uh, but then there's nobody around, why would you open? Anyway, I will go and sort this guy out and then we'll uh, take a look around in a couple of minutes. Okay, so we went for a little walk. Um, they are putting in a, a new light lifeguard hut just there, so that crane will be going soon. There's an English Reg uh, T6 here, um, a young couple, they seem to be on holidays. Sammy's shop is open, I don't think the cafe is. I'm gonna take a spin out the road, Just to, I've, I haven't been here in 10 years. I'm just gonna take a spin out the road to have a look, maybe get a few photographs. The seas are rough out there, it's still lashing rain. It's 20 to four. So I'll just go for a spin and then I'll come back. Um, there's a new campsite just across the road here and there's two campers in it. It could be in air, I don't know. It does seem to have electrical power. So I'm gonna go over and see what the story is there as well and report back in a couple of minutes. So Trevor and Helene have made it. We're just letting the uh, crane truck reverse out off the beach and then we're going to uh, take a spin down and see if we can find somewhere to park up. Okay guys, um, you can see Gavin and Elaine have made it here behind me. We're on Inch Beach. Um, let me turn this camera. Uh, there's only one other mad couple down there playing ball with their dog. So this is Inch Beach, that's where we are there. The restaurant, the cafe is open till eight o'clock. There's a bar and restaurant up there. I don't think it's open as yet. And there's a surfer in there. There's a couple there playing with their dog. 
and that's the surf school shacks over there. Um, that's the new hut, that red hut just there in the middle of the screen that was added today by a crane for the lifeguards. So they're getting ready for the season. I'm hoping my windsock is working because it is pretty. That looks damn good, doesn't it? I didn't bring any kites with me. Oh God, I have 16 kites at home and I didn't bring any with me. Right, let's take a walk up here and just see what's happening. I'm not worried about getting stuck. I have to be honest now, I'm probably putting the mockers on myself. This way, Charlie. Uh, Gavin and Elaine have stayed here loads of times before and they've never been stuck. But look, hopefully we won't need any help tomorrow. But isn't that beautiful? Do you know, despite the weather, when we get good weather in this country, it's a great place to holiday. Anyway, there's the restaurant and cafe. It's open till eight o'clock. I'm gonna take you for a walk, if the road's not too busy, across to the other campsite. So we'll be back in a couple of seconds. That's the car park that the surfers use. Uh, there's another couple of camper vans here, parked in a layby. There are public toilets just over there and they're actually open. So there's the airs I was telling you about across the way. And there are two phone numbers on the gate and you ring your phone number and I think you give your reg plate and then the gate automatic barrier opens. It's not a campsite. Now it says it's a campsite, but it's not a campsite because if it's a campsite, it shouldn't be open. <laughs> okay, so it's only eight o'clock in the morning because we got a knock on the door at six o'clock this morning. Um, Gav and Elaine and Flame are gone for a walk. We got a knock at the door at six o'clock this morning from a guy who got stuck in the sand. He drove right out, himself and his buddy. They wanted to skinny dip and they wanted the shortest run possible to the sea. And actually I'll take you down to where their van was. And I have a bit of video. I'll just insert it in here. There's no reg plates or anything. I'm not trying to embarrass the guy, but just I just want to show you guys how easy it is when you get caught. I mean, look where we are. Isn't it just beautiful? As I say, it's just after eight o'clock. We've had breakfast. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit dark because of where the sun is. We come over here, but uh, I'll turn this camera now and I'll show you how bad it was. Now, there was a few people that they knocked up, and we excuse that expression, that knocked on their doors. In fairness to Gav, who I now call MacGyver, he had all the tools, he was digging them. We put ramps under him, but it didn't work. Uh, and eventually they got a guy with a Jeep, with a Land Rover with a Defender. What will I show you the mess that was here? So hang on a second. This is just the mess from the Jeep. Now the Jeep had a hoist and he dug in there and that's the mess from where the van was. It was a Ford Transit, semi-converted into a camper van. Um, at six o'clock this morning, I heard a van drive past pumping out Paolo Natini and I did course. And then at 10 past six, he knocked on our door. And in fairness, Gavin dug and tried everything, but he just got bogged down there. His drive shaft got bogged down there in the middle. But guys, look where we are. Right, this is Inch Beach. Um, seemingly, there's nothing to say you can't stay here. Uh, we were the only two campers on the beach last night. There were three in the car park and three parked up on the hill. Actually, you can see there's still one over there. We're parked over there. That restaurant is open from nine o'clock this morning till I think six o'clock in the afternoon or in the evening. There's a couple of locals out walking, but this is beautiful. So, if ever you're down this way, you're into your water sports and you want somewhere nice to stay and you're into the wild camping, Inch Beach in Dingle in uh, the county of Kerry. Okay, so full disclosure, in all the years I've been camping, this is the first time I have wild camped. Myself and Deirdre came here about 10 or 12 years ago. I flew kites for a few hours. This guy wasn't on the scene. She cooked a bit of grub and then we went and I think we stayed somewhere in Bantry. I don't like wild camping. That's not to say that there's, no, there's nothing wrong with wild camping. There's a lot of people rather, Elaine and Gavin, much rather wild camp than have the restrictions of a campsite. It's not for me. Um, I had a good night's sleep last night. I did wake a few hours. I was worried about the tide, but the tide wasn't a problem. Um, 
it's wild camping. I just like to be plugged in. Look, we will go to other places and do some wild camping, myself and Charlie, just for you guys. But I would much rather be on a campsite, plugged in. Uh, just feel safety in numbers. Now, there is a new campsite I mentioned earlier on, just across the road. I see the planning permission is still up for retention. Uh, there's about 20 bays, there's electricity, there's toilets. For some reason, it's open. Um, you ring a phone number, I think they scan your reg and you get in that way or you pay on the phone. I'm not sure. I, I'll, I'm going to investigate. I took a photograph of the sign of the phone, phone numbers. I'll give them a buzz. Anyway, that wraps up this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and click on the bell if you like the video. If you give us a thumbs down on the video, we'll leave, at least leave a comment to what you didn't like about it. If it's the video, the production, I don't know. This has been Inch Beach. We have been Charlie and me. And we'll do it again from a campsite or stopover near you very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.